guys, it's Kayla, and today I am here for you with a fitness haul, which is something I've been talking about for weeks, and now I'm finally getting around to filming it. Um, at the start of this year, as part of my goal setting, you guys know, um, I started buying stuff to be able to do more at-home workouts, as well as joining a gym, um, because sometimes life is crazy and you can't go to the gym seven days a week when you're trying to get your exercise in. Um, so I wanted to buy some stuff for at home. I also bought some clothes. Not a lot of clothes. Most of this is equipment. Um, but just to kind of get myself back into the working out um, routine that I want to be in, um, which I stuck to pretty well this year, which is really good for me. Um, so I just want to show you some of the stuff I bought. I bought a lot of stuff, and you've seen some of it throughout other videos. Um, I've talked about some of it. Um, especially my favorites video um, from last week, you would have seen some of this stuff, but I thought I would show you everything. So everything in this haul, this is from three lines. So the first line is um, Target's, um, bargain bleh, Target's Bargain Section came out with a ton of awesome workout stuff at the beginning of the year um, that I maybe want a little ham on. Um, and then also the Tone It Up line. And then I bought some Livy Activewear at Lane Bryant. So I'm just going to show you kind of what I've got. I'm going to start with Target. Um, so Target's line had um, a lot of stuff. And I think I have almost everything. I didn't buy any of the, like, they had like a neck warmer, some hair bands. Um, they had a few other things, um, water bottles um, that I didn't buy because I just didn't think I needed. But I did buy quite a bit of stuff. So the first thing I want to show you is my yoga mat, which I'm not going to actually fully unroll, unroll but it says um, don't quit. Um, I will insert a picture right here. So in that video, in that picture, it looks like it says quit, but it says don't quit. Um, but it was $7, which was an awesome deal for yoga mat. I might go buy another one um, just to have a backup because I don't know how long it'll last because it was only $7, but I really liked them. They all had like motivational sayings except for one of them that had like flowers on it. Um, so I picked that up. Um, so speaking of the flower line, the flower yoga mat looks kind of like the inside of this bag. That's the pattern. But this is the bag I bought myself that is in a different color than the rest of my stuff from this line. This is the hotter pink. It came, there's a dark pink and a hot pink, a blue, a purple, and the black. This goes with the hot pink and the black. Um, but it just says, blah, 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 go work out. And it's huge. It has a mat strap on the back. A little mesh side pocket for water bottles and then the inside is just like huge and deep which is awesome all right so the next thing I'm just gonna show you all the big stuff first since I have to put it back on the floor and um, next thing I got oh, was a scale oh that bag was um, five dollars I want to say um, I got a scale this was ten dollars it's glittery and pink um, and we just didn't have a scale in our house um, because the last one we had broke and then we just never bought a new one. Um, I don't weigh myself very often. I don't really like to. Um, I'm more about like noticeable differences is what's more important to me. Um, but I do weigh myself occasionally and so I bought myself a sparkly pink scale because of course I did. Okay, um, next on that line, this is actually the first thing I bought before I decided to buy all the other stuff. I got the um, foam roller because I have a lot of muscle issues because of my Hashimoto's and just from life, um, but I have a lot of like joint and muscle pain, um, so I got myself a foam roller. Um, I got a yoga block, and I think I am going to buy another one of these, just A, so I have to, and B, I don't know how long this is going to last, but it feels pretty sturdy, but I don't know how long it'll last. Um, then I got just a kettlebell. Um, I wanted all the block and the foam roller were $3 each. This I want to say was $5, um, it's just a five pound kettlebell in the same color as all my other stuff. So there you go. Woo! Alright, put that on the floor instead of back of my bed. Um, the next couple of things I got from the line are just socks. So they had three different types of socks. It's all the same type but different designs. So I got first just the solid ones. I've worn all the other ones so this is just the peach pair but they come in pink, blue, purple, and peach. So this is that's what's left of this one. Um, the rest are in the laundry. And then they had a gray with those colors and a white with those colors. So I bought all three sets just because I really liked them. I bought the solid color one first and I wore them and I was like, oh, I like these. So I went back and bought more. So that is it from the Target section. Um, most of the stuff I'm going to show you right now you saw in last week's video, so I won't go too in-depth with it, but it's the Tone It Up stuff. So I got the um, three pound dumbbells, 
the booty bands, which I showed in last week's video, but I'll pull out just one of them. This is the fine toning one. So there's that. Um, I got the jump rope and the resistance band. So that's what I got from that line. I also got some like food stuff and the book and stuff like that, but as far as fitness supplies go, those are the things that I got. And then I got myself some Livy activewear, and the first pair I got, this is the pair I really wanted. Um, they are this long black with like awesome blue mesh on the legs. Um, these are their, I want to say their compression is what they called this line. I don't remember. Um, but it's their newer line, um, and they come up a little high. I don't like them so much for yoga or like stretching kind of exercises. They're a little bit, the band's a little bit thick, so it like holds it a little tighter, which is like nice, but not for like when you have to be like bent over in downward dog and you're like, I can't breathe. <laughs> but they stretch out really fast, which is why I had to buy it so tight. Um, so that's, it's not as fun for yoga, but for cardio, these are great. Um, the fabric is like super breathable, which is nice. And I just like, I like the blue stripe. So that's that. And then I also got just a plain black pair because you can never go wrong with black workout leggings. So that is all of the su workout supplies and clothes I have bought recently. Um, obviously I'm like pretty dedicated to my fitness journey right now, so I'll buy more stuff as the year goes on, but as of right now, that's what I've got. Um, so maybe later on in the year, maybe like when we get closer to summer, I'll do another because I'll have had to buy summer workout clothes because these are full length, more wintry winter workout clothes. Um, so maybe I'll do another haul then. Um, if you want more videos on my fitness journey, go ahead and comment below. If you like this one, give it a big old thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!